just looks beautiful. Yeah, that I'm comes still out, gonna get, I want that game. Yeah, September 30th. Um, and they did. Oh, wow. That's yeah. coming up. Holy smoke. I know. I can't wait. So uh, some of the things they talked about. Oops, I'm going to hit the microphone. Um, dedicated servers. And that they made a big point to saying that this is the most social racing game ever made. So if you got oh, some people that you I like. Not hype. I think it's going to be good because they're using the drive avatars, you know, from Forza 5. And this is only on Xbox One. The 360 version, you're, you don't get that. But, uh. You know, so you can race with all your friends, even when they're not online, and the, their drive avatars will drive similar in style to how they drive. And they said you could drive around with them, against them, like challenge them. Or you could just, like, hop in your car and follow one of your friend's drive avatars around and see where it goes. Like, it might go off to, like, a hiding spot or something. Interest. I'm so nervous about my drive avatar. I know, like, like, what is it going to do? I'm, like, all over the road. I feel I like whoever plays against me is going to be like, is she drinking again or what? Yeah, like, just slamming just into the sidewalls. And, uh. um, oh, and they said you, anytime you just pull up your map and you can see all your friends online and where they're at on the map and what they're doing. And then... But, uh, I can't... It sounds... I know. They said you instantly good. transition from your multiplayer... With no lobby, you just instantly go into multiplayer. So you don't have to wait around a dumb lobby. Hmm. And your your car club can have a thousand people in it. And your car club will have a leaderboard. So if you want to be more competitive with your club, you can. And oh, and Zen, you know how we like to customize stuff, right? A little bit, yeah. So let's say you paint a really cool car. You, you make a design on it. Then you go and you do uh, what they call a meetup. And so then we could meet up and I could look at your car. And then like right then and there, I could just download your design to my car. Man, I can see us girls just sitting around looking at each other's cars. We have all these pimped out GTG cars. Yeah. We're we're superficial in a lot of (laughs) ways. Yeah, it's like. We want to look good when we go into battle. We want to look, our cars have to look nice. I know. <laughs> but other things you can do, like you could just go on a road trip, like you and I you be like, let's go whatever. And we can just go drive wherever we want. Or we could like set a destination, like we're going to drive to here. So. I can't wait. And I didn't realize it was coming up so fast. I mean, this yeah. year is flying by. Yeah. But, uh, and see, that's the I'm thing. I'm definitely going to get that. Yeah, me too. And the. Uh, it kills me because the crew is coming out like at the end of this month, end of August. I want to say the 25th mm-hmm. and I want to play that too, but I know Forza Horizon 2 is going to like, I mean, it has like 200 cars, all these events. It's going to be just, so just much. rent it. Rent the crew for a few days and. Yeah, maybe. I just think there's so much more to Horizon that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Now, they talked about a lot of other games, but here was my one issue, Zen. Uh-oh. When they made that announcement about Tomb Raider, the yeah. Rise of the yep. Tomb Raider, I was watching it, right? And they said, yeah. I swear, they said, exclusive to Xbox, and my jaw like literally dropped. I was like, what? How did they get Square to do that? I was like, what? But, uh... And then I noticed after they did that announcement, they said all games, you know, from here on out are exclusive to Xbox. So I think they were just not clear, which I don't know. It really disappointed me that they weren't more clear. I felt like it was a little misleading. Did you? Yeah, I felt it was misleading. And I think a lot of people in the industry were confused, too, because the things I was reading and watching, people were saying it's it's, it's they said it was exclusive, but they couldn't understand why financially Square, you know, Square would do that. Yeah, because I mean, obviously I thought, okay, my first thought was, well, they must have paid a ton of money to get that. I know but, I thought the same thing. I was thinking, and why would Microsoft do that? I mean, like, it's an awesome game, but Oh, why? I know, I can't wait. But <laughs> I know. So I still, is, I, I'm over it, the whole like I just no. wish they wouldn't have done that because it it tainted it for me. Because for me, that announcement was like the biggest announcement of the whole um, Xbox, you know, uh, presentation. Yeah. I was just like, what? 
But <laughs> so it is going to yeah. come out on the other systems, but they haven't said when. So they said in the presentation, holiday 2015 exclusively to Xbox. At least that's the notes I wrote. So that being said, I would imagine it would come after holiday 2015. So probably, you know, sometime in 2016, the other consoles yeah. would get it. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It should be interesting when they clear that all up. But yeah, whatever it is, even though it's not a exclusive, you know. Yeah. I was just disappointed because normally they really are clear on their little labels. They'll say like, you know, first to have like DLC content or whatever, exclusive this. Like they're usually very specific. But when that Square guy came out, he said exclusive to Xbox and then they... They just, it just was really confusing. So I wish they would have not done that, but. Yeah. I'm I don't, over I'm it. still, I guess I, I'm too excited to be mad. Oh my I'm God. Okay. I'm so excited. And, and they, the one thing I, I noticed that they said, they said that it will still have the best combat bow in gaming. Yeah, yo. I know. I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> and Zen, um, you always talk about the comics. The yeah. Tomb Raider con- I haven't gotten them yet, but I found out in November they're going to release a little, you know, like one through six in one little volume. So I'm going to buy that. I feel yeah, like I can would, get away with that like, better. Cause I'm you not, will like it. I can't collect comics. I can't. But if it's a little, I'm calling it like a little graphic novel. It's not a book. It, or not It's comics. just to educate, you know, it's for educational purposes, too. Uh, yes, I could learn how to survive more. Yes, and you know about the video game. And you know, you're just trying to educate yourself. Exactly. So, you have to do that. Yes. So, I'm going to get <laughs> well, that in November. <laughs> I can't wait. Have you been playing any games on your phone? Zen, I have. It's a new game. Well, wow. Okay, I think it might not be a new game. But it's a new game to Windows Phone, and it has achievements. So it's an Xbox game. I was, re- you know, I've been sad about no new Xbox games. Bam, like three came out. Hmm. So the one I've been playing is free and it has achievements. But Spit it out, woman. I, I want to know. I know. I think, but I feel guilty because I think you've talked about this game before on the podcast. It's called Hungry Shark Evolution. Yes. That is it. Bunny talked to me about that. She said, you gotta play this game. Oh my god. I love it. I'm so addicted. (laughs) Okay, so here's the deal. The achievements. Oh my god. There's 200 gamer score, right? Uh Uh-huh. And are you familiar with True Achievements? Yes. Okay, so TrueAchievements.com. They will give you a rating for each achievement. So, like, if you have a five-point achievement, but it's really, really hard to get... Then they say, based off all these ma- mathematical calculations, that that achievement is actually worth 35 points. So then you get your achievement score, but then they get a true achievement score. So if you play all easy games, your true achievement score is going to be a lot lower than if you get some of these harder to get achievements. So with that oh. being said, an average 200 point Windows phone game, right, then usually will be like 500 tops. Uh-huh. On true achievement score. The true achievement score in this, I just looked it up, 1,656. Oh, so you're going to play the heck out of this game. Oh my god, it's going to be so hard, but I don't care. It is so much fun. You just, you get your little shark, and then you go, and you're like, nom, 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 <laughs> eating little fish, jumping and up. people. The and people humans. are the best. Yeah. But can you get the guy on the jet ski? I didn't get to that point. I just, oh my I God. came across some woman swimming in the middle of the ocean. and Yeah, I, um, um, um. and the divers, yeah. and then sometimes they turn to gold. I just go nuts, and I'm just eating them, eating them. I ate another shark. And oh, my gosh. I it, can just see you giggling and laughing. Well, the first time I played it, I was in public, and I was like, laughing it was like nom, nom, nom. i was out of control <laughs> oh I my god poor kelly feels- yeah it was god. she was there she, she has the game too and she's loving it we're both playing it so that's, that's awesome my game. I'm, hungry shark I could achievements on that but i know I'm, nope sorry it's well fun. i'm glad you're playing a game on your phone thank you what have you been doing 
I haven't been playing. I've just been playing old games. I've been still um, hooked on Bejeweled. Me too. That's it. That's all day. I'm playing right now on my phone. It's like. Did you post yes. your scores on our leaderboard on our website? Yes, I did. And I was surprised <gasps> to see that I wasn't lagging that far behind. Oh, no. I need to go look. Okay. Yeah. Uh-oh. So, but I have been reading or I listened to a new geeky ish book called Divergent. Uh huh. Um, it was really good. Movie, my right? friend suggested it to me, uh-huh. and she's the one that told me to listen to Hunger Games a couple years ago. So I figured she's got a little bit of geek in her. So, <laughs> and so this you... one is um, the basics is six. When you turn sixteen, you have to decide what um, fraction you want to live in, and uh-huh. fractions are the community is broken up into five different fractions. Uh-huh. You have like you have one that's like soldiers. You have another one that is peaceful, like kind of like your hippies. Then you have your intelligent people uh-huh. that value like you know research and everything. And then you have people that are you know um, um, caring. And then you have the super honest people that are in the government and everything. Wait, the super honest people are in the government? I believe that's what they're yeah because okay. they they can't lie then to you. Oh. Well, that's handy. So, yeah. So when you turn 16, you have to decide if you want to, which way you want to go. And you take a mm. test and everything that supposedly tells you which way to go, but you don't have to listen to it. Oh, so you get to pick at least. That's good. Yeah. So you get to pick like your path. But what and if you this change girl your mind? picks the path that she wants to go down oh. and you just follow her throughout that oh. whole... Um, transition and whatnot i guess so if you change your mind what do you do can you like apply to switch or you no you're kicked out you become what they call the uh the fraction list and Uh then it's like you're more so homeless and oh i can't remember exactly what happened i should have looked that up but um of why a lot of the world has been destroyed Hmm. and this is the only city that remains so they have to at least that's what they've been told and the first book interesting that so, to keep the peace they have all these different fractions got you now and there's also a movie and i saw the movie too but. that's what i was gonna ask i was like this is the book that has the movie yeah and the the movie was pretty good but the book just had so much more detail and character development in it that i enjoyed that more in zen even though you didn't read the book it was read to you i'm very impressed that's- that makes it better. I love it just like, because like I stare at a screen all day. So just uh-huh. to have somebody read to me. It's just That's like, handy. dude, like when your mom reads you a book when you're a kid, <laughs> how great that is and how she gets into reading it. It's like, that's how audio books are to me. It's like, oh, man. <laughs> they're reading it. They're really getting into it. And it's like, oh, yeah. I, and I, I can I, listen to them when I'm at work. So. Oh, I just can't comprehend like things coming like book type things coming into my brain audio wise i have to see it hmm i I, my brain don't work that way (laughs) i have no idea dude (laughs) i don't know i don't know have you been watching anything (gasps) geeky then since you can't comprehend i did i okay (laughs) so um xbox one got the new stars play app Uh uh-huh and you know you have to have the the cable that goes with it to get the app to work. So we have Comcast and, you know, subscribed to all the right stuff and we got the app. I know I don't watch cable TV really, but when it's on an app, I'll watch it because it's like organized, you know, you can go in and pick what you want. And they had Iron Man three on there. So Ooh. I was all happy because I saw the first two, but never the third. So I watched that and I really liked it. Did you yeah, like it? That's, that's the one. Where he has all the different suits, right? And he's kind of mm-hmm. anxious. Like, he seems nervous. I can't oh, remember exactly. Oh, yeah, he but... keeps having panic attacks. Yeah. yeah. Because of what happened in other things. <laughs> yeah, guess, that was like... a really good... The graphics in that, there's a scene where... That's not a spoiler, but all the suits are, you know, flying around and... Yeah. Um, flying to him so he can put the suits on, I guess. Mm-hmm. But who's it? what's her face? Pepper. She also puts the suits... The suits on, and then they're like some kind of that's a power couple. I right loved there. when she did that, she was so cool. I yeah, was I was like, Go, go. girl! <laughs> yeah, I was like, But how did the suit like auto adjust to fit her? Um, I, yeah, I thought about that too because I was like, They're 
obviously different sizes, but... Obvious, yeah. But, I mean, she's smaller than he is, so... Maybe she just said extra wiggle room. Yeah, it's like running around in somebody... (laughs)